Hello folks, Cortez here and uh, Daylight Saving Time is coming pretty soon and so I would like to share with you a little bit of what it is, you know, a lot of questions, confusions if you may call it, but anyway let's see what Google have. Okay, wow look at that, search result is like 12 million nine hundred thousand so let me share some videos with you and I'm gonna do like a little mashup video or review to kinda answer some of the questions or clear up some confusions that you may have so let's play some video and um, okay there's one here look at that there's another one here looks like it's from the same author but I'd like to know what a teacher has to say so this one let's check this one out okay so there's one two three four videos so let me do like a little mass up video if you call it or a little remix and uh, hopefully we can shed light a little bit of on uh, what daylight saving time is all about so watch the video and let me know what you think I'll see you on the other side bye Every year, some countries move their clocks forward in the spring, only to move them back in the autumn. To the vast majority of the world who doesn't participate in this odd clock fiddling, it seems a baffling thing to do. So what's the reason behind it? The original idea, proposed by George Hudson, was to give people more sunlight in the summer. Of course, it's important to note that changing a clock doesn't actually make more sunlight, and that's not how physics works. But, by moving the clocks forward an hour, compared to all other human activity, the sun will seem to both rise and set later. The time when the clocks are moved forward is called daylight saving time, and the rest of the year is called standard time. This switch effectively gives people more time to enjoy the sunshine and nice summer weather after work. Hudson, in particular, wanted more sunlight so he could spend more time adding to his insect collection. When winter is coming, the clocks move back, presumably because people don't want to go outside anymore. But winter doesn't have this effect on everyone. If you live in a tropical place like Hawaii, you really don't have to worry about seasons because they pretty much don't happen. Every day, all year, is sunny and beautiful, so Christmas is... Fast Draw, Josh Landis, and Mitch Buntwood. One of the most famous clocks in the world is here at Grand Central Terminal. We're asking people, why do we have daylight savings time? And more importantly, does it really save us anything? Where does daylight savings time come from? I think it was for the benefit of um, agriculture, uh, schools, um, uh, manufacturing, transportation. You're wrong again. <laughs> wrong again. Do you have a fourth guess? <laughs> to save the energy. Conserving energy. 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 Yes. <laughs> it's to save electricity. Oh. It's to save electricity. So daylight savings time saves energy by giving you more evening sunlight, reducing the need for electric light. Like a lot of people, I've always said daylight savings time, but technically it's called daylight saving time. But you know what we mean. It was first used in Europe and came to the U.S. during World War I. Coal that would have been used to generate electricity for homes instead went to the war effort. Explanation and today is daylight savings time. It's a term we use to describe a system intended to save daylight, where we either turn back the clock one hour or set it ahead one hour. The idea was first put into practice by the German government during the First World War. Soon after, the United Kingdom followed suit, and then the U.S. Congress made it official for the remainder of the war. There are a number of rationales behind this. Two of the most popular are number one, we save a lot of energy, and number two, we have more time to do activities outdoors. Now a lot of people get confused as to when to turn their clocks back or set them ahead. Luckily for us, there's a saying that says, spring ahead, fall back. Simply put, that means in the spring, we spring ahead in one hour, and in the autumn, we fall back an hour. This is also a good time to check your batteries on the smoke detectors and fire. For the sole purpose of uh, really uh, saving energy. We've been following daylight saving time in the United States for quite a while. It really first became official back during World War I for the sake of growing extra food for troops overseas. It was brought back for World War II. But recently it was the Energy Policy Act of 2005 that was the real difference maker that made it more of a, a formal type of exercise that has been basically followed by every state in the United States with a few exceptions, that being, of course, Arizona, uh, Hawaii, U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the American Samoans. 
Internationally, it's kind of a hodgepodge around the globe. If you took a look at the planet and you were to light up places that were experiencing daylight saving, you'd see really just a hop, skip, and a jump from one continent to the other. It's kind of varied wherever you happen to go. There are some places I can tell you in Africa where there are many spots where they don't practice it. Uh, there are many places, obviously, uh, in, in parts of Asia. Europe, though, practices it.